Welcome everybody to your program, Business Intelligence. This is your host, Jonathan Diolio. Today, we will be talking about goal setting and goal getting. I have developed a methodology for goal setting and goal getting. The name of the methodology is Smartly Pursuits. You might have heard of something similar. There is this model that is widely used that is named SMART goals. And SMART is an acronym that means the following. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-framed. Our goals ought to be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-framed. So when I looked at that model, at the existent model, I said, you know, that is rather complete. It has five elements, and five means completeness. That's where we get our word quintessence from. But I thought, well, maybe this complete product can be perfected. And seven is the number that signifies perfection in numerology. So I set out to create a methodology. Instead of SMART, it's called SMARTLY. And the only principle, the only word that we borrow from the original SMART goals paradigm is specific. We believe that our goals ought to be specific. We cannot go about throwing darts at the wall and then defining our objectives. We believe that we have to define our objectives before we pursue them. You need to know where you want to go and where you are in order to get where you want to go and prepare in correspondence with the needs, wants, and capabilities that your enterprise has contained within its structure. You cannot just embark in a trip to uh, the West Coast without the proper equipment, without the proper finances, without the proper knowledge of the territory. But you need a map to get there. So Smartly Pursuits is a map. In our model, S stands just, in the smart, just as in the SMART goals paradigm for specific. But M stands for manageable. It still relates to measurable, but management is all the more encompassing. Because when we look at management, we go beyond production and we look at results and how the production corresponds with the mission and vision of an organization. So M in our model stands for measurable. I'm sorry, for manageable. In the original model, it stands for measurable. A stands for aptitudinal. In the original model, it stands for achievable. But here, we refer to aptitudes because aptitudes play a very important role when it comes to deciding what goals we ought to pursue. The goals that we pursue ought to be in perfect correspondence with our aptitudes, with our strengths, with our passion. And if we throw some good attitude alongside that set of aptitudes that we have, we're very likely to be successful in our endeavors. The R in our model stands for responsible. Our goals ought to be responsible. We cannot follow the Machiavellic principle of the end justify the means. We believe that the means are as important as the ends and that which we pursue needs to be in tune with a core set of principles and values that constitute the foundation of our lives. T in our model stands for transformational. In the original model, it stands for time framed. But we believe that the time factor is contained in the manageable element in our Smartly Pursuits methodology. So T in our model stands for transformational. If we are going to pursue something that is life-changing in nature, I think it ought to transform us, not only change us. You know, people promise change in politics and business. It's all about change. But we want transformational change, irreversible change, for the better. As you know, the caterpillar changes from green to brown and from brown to green to kind of adapt and sometimes hide itself in an environment. 
But when it goes through metamorphosis, and it goes from being a caterpillar to being a butterfly, there's no turning back. That's a transformation. And I think that as we embark in the new year in 2014, we want to transform our lives. We want to transform our lives for the better. We have to identify the habits, the bad habits that are keeping us from that positive transformation that we need in our personal and professional and spiritual lives. So make sure that your goals are in correspondence with our methodology, Smartly Pursuits. The T, transformational. And remember that every transformational process is a process of change, but not every process of change is transformational. Now the L in our model stands for logical. What we pursue in life needs to make sense. Yes, we need to be passionate about it. Yes, we need to have an action plan in the pursuit of that goal that we want to accomplish, but it needs to make sense in terms of profitability, in terms of its achievability, in the light of circumstances that we face at the personal and non-personal level, at the endogenous level and at the exogenous level. We have to be sensible to uh, that which is outside of our control. Now, we should focus on that which is within our circle of control. Because if we just think about that which is outside of our control, we're going to grow frustrated. Yes? So we ought to focus on our circle of control and eventually, hopefully, our circle of control will be as big as our circle of concern, if not even bigger. And when our circle of control is bigger than our circle of concern, that's when our influence increases so that we can actually change and transform the lives of many other people. So we've covered six elements out of seven in our methodology. The last element starts with Y, and it stands for you. And that is the seventh element. That is the one, according to numerology, that makes our model perfect, because it's the seventh element. And you is all about you. It's all about pursuing goals that are in correspondence with what you expect of yourself. You see, when we are young, we ask ourselves, well, what does my family expect of me? What is the current environment uh, demanding? There is a demand for technicians. There is a demand for baseball players. There is a demand for artists. At least it is popular to be an artist and a baseball player. But the real question that we should be asking is, what do you want? Do you know that? Have you asked yourself the question? Have you taken the time to engage in the introspective analysis that will lead to the full identification of what makes you, you? Once you answer that question, go out into the world, not as a crooked question mark, but as an upright exclamation point. Knowing what you want to accomplish is very powerful. Now, it is very important to add value to you in the pursuit of goals that are in the likeness and image of you. Because you see, I woke up this morning and I got ready to work and then the evening came and the time for this special program called Business Intelligence uh, was due. And I came to the TV set, but I didn't come naked. I actually dressed up. In the same way, you have to dress your worldview up. You have to dress your attitude up. You have to dress your intelligence up with knowledge, with relationships, with principles. Because dressing up is what is going to allow you to penetrate into certain circles, into certain environments that are the environments suitable 
for the development of your talents that can be viewed as seeds. And sometimes you look at that seed and you say, oh, this is such a small seed. What good is it for? And you might have an orange on the other hand, and you said, well, this orange is very good. But when you have an orange in, you, in your hand, you know that you have an orange, and there's only one orange. But when you have an orange seed, you look at that small little seed, but you're not necessarily able to tell how many oranges are contained in that seed. But in order for that seed to bear all the origins that it has in its design, in its DNA, it needs to die. But in order for that orange seed to bear fruits and to give birth to all the oranges that it contains in its very design, in its very DNA, it needs to die in order to germinate. Do you need to die in this hour? Do you need to die to an insecurity, to a frustration, to something that happened in your past and it has become your present and it's creeping into your future just as a thief that wants to rob you of your capacity for success? I think that the time has come and the time is now to kill those attitudes. I think that the time has come and the time is now to obliterate that attitude, to let go of that past and embrace your future with a clear vision of what you want to accomplish, knowing that you are already a winner. But in order to win, W-I-N, you have to focus on what's important now. That's what WIN stands for, what's important now. You want to win? So win. Focus on what's important now. Don't think about yesterday. Don't think too much about tomorrow. Focus on what you have before you now. When you're driving in your car, you have the windshield. The windshield is so much bigger than the rear view mirrors. And that's for a reason, because you ought to be looking through the windshield most of the time. The rear view mirrors are there to give you perspective. And remember, that point of clarification in their, view, in their rear view mirrors, that objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. So if you look at them too much, you might lose sight of reality. You might miss an opportunity to go to the places that you want to go to, that you need to go to, in order to be a blessing unto other people. Because you are a light. You are a light. And you ought to occupy the highest places in that which you have decided to pursue. Because lights aren't uh, located underneath beds or underneath tables, but in high places so that they can comply with their function of enlightening, of bringing solace, of bringing hope, of bringing encouragement wherever it is displayed. And you are a light. Therefore, decide within the innermost part of your being to occupy the highest places. Not to show other people that you are there in the highest places, but to be a blessing unto other people. It's all about having the right perspective. It's all about having the right attitude. So I invite you to uh, look up our Smartly Pursuits methodology. I've written about it. I talk about it on Twitter all the time and on Facebook. So follow me on Facebook. My Twitter account is Deolio JJ, D E O L E O J J. And you can find me on Facebook if you look up my name, Jonathan J Deolio. That's the apostrophe O L E O. I would love to be in touch with you. 
Thank you very much. We'll go really quickly to a brief pause and then we'll come back to conclude today's program. Thank you very much. See you in a bit. Welcome back to this your program, Business Intelligence. Today we've been speaking about our goal setting and goal getting methodology, Smartly Pursuits. I want you to stay tuned because we are going to be holding a Smartly Pursuits conference here in Miami, Florida at Unicaribe. And this seminar, this conference has been specially designed with you in mind. And it's going to take place before 2013 is over and done. It's going to take place in the first and the second week of the month of December. We're already uh, reserving spaces. So those of you that are interested, uh, please call our numbers, the number on the screen, and ask for a reservation. The space that we have is very limited. And we have purposefully designed it that way because we want to drill into the principles of Smartly Pursuits and make sure that they are uh, completely clear, crystal clear for you as we embrace and we embark in the new year, 2014, which I declare in this hour that is going to be better than 2013, but not better than 2015. I hope to continue to be in touch with you via uh, social media, look me up, I, I'm available to answer your questions, whatever question you submit uh, via Twitter or Facebook, I'll, I'll do my best to respond in a timely fashion, and I look forward to seeing you here at your weekly program every Thursday at 7 p.m. at 2network.tv. Take care, and remember that thoughts become things. If you conceive it in the inside, you achieve it in the outside. So think on the bright side and have a great life.